Welcome back to the Wildlands Garden and today it's a very chilly morning and today's episode we're looking entirely at irrigation or more specifically using automated irrigation systems in your gardens and or food forests to water your trees, plants and even your seedlings in your greenhouse. It's worth pointing out that here in the Wildlands Garden we're off grid so we're not connected to the water mains. So we use water which we get from our well which we pump up our land and store in IBC tanks which hold a thousand litres per tank and here on the Wildlands in the garden we have 12,000 litres that we store and we have them at a higher level to the food forest so that we can rely on gravity to water the garden using the automated system that we'll show you in tonight's video. For those of you that are not like us, where you're connected to the mains, you'll get higher pressure and therefore you'll be able to water larger areas on one system. As here in the Wildlands Garden, we have about eight or nine different irrigation systems all set up to individual IBC tanks to try and maintain the pressure that you yourselves will probably easily get if you're connected to the water mains. And enjoy tonight's episode. Today is drip irrigation day. So we've laid out all the different bits and bulbs. We got a bit overexcited in Agrilogia and decided to try all the different sprinklery things and drippy things and so on. And down at one end we have, there are sticks to hold your pipes in place. Then there are taps, two different types. Uh, we have different elbows and T-junctions and crossways things to connect the pipe so it can go in different directions in your garden. We have tall drippery things on a stake that squirt out of multiple holes. Then you have thinner pipe, which is like this. Um, and then we've got all the different connectors down here for that. And again, we've got T-junctions and connectors and four-way crosses. And the idea is that you have a big thick pipe with the water running in it going around my spiral or somewhere else in your bed. And then you run little sticky things like this out of it with a bit of the thin pipe going to your plant with a dripper or a spinner or a droodler <laughs> or one of those on the end to water the plants directly and hopefully reduce some of the watering cans and hose pipe work that we're having to do. So I'm at the top of the hill on the side of the food forest by our stack of four IBCs. And if you remember a few weeks ago when we were talking about the plumbing on the IBCs, I had this extra section with a tap that is for our irrigation system. So we already have one of these fitted on the front of this one. So that gives us two systems for two separate loops of irrigation down in the food forest. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got some 15 millimeter hose pipe, which also fits on there here. I'm gonna use that to run it down the hill. I'll show you that when it's finished. So you can see from up here that Missy has laid the spiral drip irrigation around her spiral and um, she's only just tested out a couple of drippers because she's now going to do a lot of planting and then add specific drippers for each plant. And then on the right, you can see on the top of the berm, I've laid another one, except that's a different one. That's actually a dripping tube. So every six inches, it has little drips. And then uh, you can also add separate drippers to that. So for now, that's gonna keep that berm moist, should it require it, with a slow drip. And then at every join, we've put taps so that we can turn sections on and off. Right, shall I turn the hose on? Turn the hose on. We're flooding our swales for the first time ever. Nothing's happening. Well, it's all kinked. I can't hear nothing. Oh, water! It's gonna take a while at this rate. Please. <laughs> I get in, I got the water. So of course it's gotta soak through all of the wood chip and all of the straw before it can even get to the earth. This is one whole huge experiment. It may take some time. The hose has been running for about half an hour and it's actually made a puddle now. So it's soaked into the bark, it's soaked through the straw, it's going into the ground and it's properly swampy, which is excellent and really good fun. Oh, it's squelching, isn't it? Yeah. We'll have to level it back out afterwards. So to summarise, our irrigation 
system is finished. So I'll give you a quick summary because I didn't film very much of it because it's not a very exciting chore, but it's a necessary chore off grid or in any garden where you want to make your job easier or if you're in a drought scenario where watering is really, really essential regularly. So let me just quickly summarize what we've done. So each IBC that is high up, such as these two here, have a new black irrigation pipe with the tap, which is down here in this case. And then we have four swales and berms. So we've used four IBC, four singular IBC, one for each swale and berm. So each one of these is watering a swale and a berm. And then we have a fifth IBC, which is for Missy's Swirl Garden. So each section of the garden has its own IBC, and that's partly due to the volume of watering that we require, and also because we're off grid. We don't have the same sort of water pressure that you'd get in a house, so we're relying on gravity from these higher IBCs. In the case of these, they're high up, and then they're going down this slope towards Swirl and Berm number one. So we have to monitor the pressure that we're getting on each system, and the more sprayers and drippers you add, the more likelihood of you getting a lower pressure. So you have to keep an eye on how many drippers and sprayers you put on each system to make sure that you've got enough pressure to water that part of the garden in our case. So the food forest is really shaping up. I'll show you some of the drippers and sprayers in action. If you're irrigating your garden in a similar way, I'd love to hear any tips you might have, so do leave us a comment. Or alternatively, if you're looking to irrigate your garden in an automated fashion using the similar sort of system to us, let us know if you have any questions in the comments. I can't get <laughs> Stick your bum down. Stick my bum down. Oh. Oh. You can always put your feet that way. There we are, here we go. Oh, so it's going to be nice when we can bathe in here naked it's together, isn't it? It's going to be amazing. So week seven now is it? of the permaculture Heavens. food forest and its construction that's going well, isn't it? It is going very well, yeah. So another episode. Thanks very much for your support and for watching our wafflings from the wildlands. Absolutely. As we build our permaculture food forest from day one. <laughs> and we'll see you again very soon. Very soon. Lots more jobs getting done. Bye. Thank you.